board, I'm bored on a sinking ship. I've lost a lot of time, a lot of time on it. I will watch as it all goes down. I won't get bored. I will sink, I will sink as a wind ton. I will wait, I will wait, but it won't be long. I could give it everything I got. But don't you think it's better to better to find out this thing? I'm a waste, I'm a waste, I'm a waste on skin I will take, I will take on my standing thin I will leave myself a little rope And then I'll go I'm a waste, I'm a waste, I'm a waste on skin I will take, I will take on my standing thin I will leave myself a little rope But don't you think Nothing to see right I don't have nothing to say to you Why is that the way? No, there's no point in trying It seems like we'll all end up dying The same way that everybody does But don't you think It's better to better to find out these things Better to better to say what you mean To be alone before you hurt some but Don't you think It's better to better to find out these from London Fashion Weekend and I'm so glad to be home because it's freezing outside after such nice weather recently it has just taken a dramatic turn for the worst and it's been freezing outside and raining but luckily it didn't rain during London Fashion Weekend so that was okay. I thought I'd just do a quick vlog just to say that I'm home and that I had a really good time um, it was so lovely to see so many new collections that, of people I'd never even heard of before. Um, I like to think I know a little bit about fashion, but obviously not, because today there were so many crazy but beautiful pieces by really great designers that I'd never even heard of before. But um, I thought I'd just walk you through what I wore today, or talk you through what I wore today. So um, I've just got a trusty pair of black Topshop jeans on. Um, this jacket is actually from Primark, this was £17 and I got it about a month ago and then this loose cami top is from New Look and then I've got my trusty fisherman sandals from the summer and these are from New Look as well and I know they're quite summery but I just love these shoes so I uh, try and wear them as much as possible even though they're actually really dirty now so... Maybe I should clean them up before I wear them again. Um, then I wore this great hat. I love this hat so much. Um, there were so many people inside I actually had to take it off because I was kind of banging into people. It was really, really busy. But um, I wore this just before and after. And this I actually got from a market stall at V Festival, um, surprisingly enough. But I love this hat and I've worn it so much since because it's really cute. Um, so I went with my friend Lucy, um, we know each other from college and I haven't seen her in months because I got back from travelling about four months ago now and I kind of spent all my money whilst I was away so I had a bit of a difficult situation when I came home because I kind of had to make a bit of money but didn't have much success with finding a job. So I haven't seen her in quite a long time and it was really really lovely to see her today even though it was only for a few hours. Um, we got these tickets from v, uh, Y Plan, not V Plan, Y Plan. Um, I got some free credit when I went to Edinburgh Fringe Festival and um, so I put that towards buying one of these tickets. I, I think Y Plan is such a great idea. I don't know if you guys have ever 
used it before or heard of it before but it's basically this app where you can um, see what's going on in your local area or in, the, in a city that you're going to um, and it will say what's happening today, tomorrow and then maybe next week as well so it's a bit like Groupon and one of those websites like that but apart from the fact that it's pretty much specialised to what's going on on that date or the dates near to that so I bought these tickets probably last week or something like that and just thought it'd be really really good to go so I, we got two bronze tickets um, and these were £16 each I think I might have to double check that and um, this entitled us to entry from 1.30 till 7 obviously I'm not there at 7 but um, and then also a tote bag from London Fashion Weekend which is quite cute and it's got little keys and lipstick and a pen and all the bits and bobs that girls carry around with them and then London Fashion Weekend on the front so uh, with this ticket we didn't get anything inside it but we went around and picked a few things up so here's the official London Fashion Weekend fashion's biggest pop-up the show guide so this is really cool this has all of the things that are going on throughout the day and then the designers and then it has a few sort of advertisements in here and then it's got Susie Bubbles picks so they obviously got one of the best bloggers in the world pretty much to pick out a few things that she really loved and then they've spoken about some of the key trends that are coming on over the next few months so I thought this was really interesting because um, I love to know about all this stuff so they've got one called one and only which is kind of bold colours they've got one called candy crush so obviously autumn winter they're picking some pastely colours jungle fever with um, exotic motifs and tribal prints according to this and then fairy tale ending which is sort of girly floral floaty gowns but with a darker edge to them so that's really quite cool to have picked up then we went into this area that was organised by Canon so it's called Canon 360 and um, what you did was you went into it and they took a picture of you so here's a little picture of me and Lucy um, and they you got to pick this up at the end of it then you got to go around and you queued up and then you had to put on this sort of, I don't really know what it was, it was a 360 experience I guess. You put it on your head and then you have to follow the orders of what's going on and you are pretending to be a model at London Fashion Week who's running late in a taxi and then you have to run through and you have to sort of like wave at your crowd and stuff but it made me feel so dizzy that I couldn't really do it so I felt a bit sick afterwards but it was really fun to do anyway, I thought it was quite a good idea to get people engaged and understand what it's like to be a model at Fashion Week who's running late. I don't really know. Anyway, so I did that and um, and then actually it was kind of time to leave so I need to go to a wedding in about an hour and I um, so I had to come back from London really quickly which is unfortunate but it was really nice to have gone today pick up a little picture and then outside as well I just forgot to say I'm gonna have to get this picture because there was a coca-cola diet coca-cola hunk standing outside with a Instagram frame taking pictures with people so I thought that was quite cool a nice little touch for as you leave you got to pick up a little can of coke a mini can of diet coke and then have your picture taken with a hunk that's not so bad really is it so got to do that and then I had to rush back to get my bus back to Cambridge which is kind of annoying as it would have been really nice to have spent a bit more time there as the buzz of London and all around Somerset House was really nice and like really exciting and everyone was just really keen to get in and see all these designers and see all these nice new clothes I do have to admit at the same time as much as it was really fun and really beautiful and like Somerset House of course is just a great venue um, I did kind of feel a little bit intimidated at the same time I mean I tweeted earlier about the fact that there's always this saying would you rather be a little fish in a big pond or a big fish in a little pond and I, not that I want to be like big and important or anything but I guess the thing is about living in a place like Cambridge is that it's quite small and as much as I'm sure there is rivalry in some cases everyone kind of knows everyone around a certain age because you've all been to college together or school together and gone to uni and then come back again um, 
and the thing about being in London is it is such a big place that there's all these people with amazing clothes and you know probably a lot of people today in particular were from the fashion industry and from press and it looked like they had quite a bit of money and dressed beautifully and had the most perfect makeup and all of this stuff so it, it is a quite intimidating coming from a small place like Cambridge and going to London even though it is only an hour down the road it is such a different place and um, I just think it's really interesting and quite nice to go to somewhere like that and just experience being like an outsider in a sense so I think it's really interesting because I wonder what it's like for tourists even though I only live an hour down the road I feel like a tourist when I go to London so today it was quite intimidating but at the same time quite an interesting experience and kind of an experiment to see how I'd cope if I was to move there in the future which I think will be the plan one day but um, some people today well, most people there today had made such an effort and it was really nice to see that everyone had kind of come together in the fashion community. And obviously I saw loads of people blogging and vlogging and I think that's really nice as well because just to have an event that lots of people are going to be talking about, obviously London Fashion Week and Fa London Fashion Weekend will be very happy about that, but I think it's really nice when there's lots of bloggers and vloggers sort of coming together and it looked like there was a lot of networking going on and I just think that's a great opportunity for so many people especially people who have just started so I have just started vlogging and it was really nice to see that I wasn't the only one sort of snapping away and taking videos and lots of things and Instagramming every five minutes kind of thing so I thought that was really nice and hopefully there'll be lots more events that I can sort of go to in the future even if I do have to pay and I, like, I'm happy to do that because I like to appreciate fashion from afar. I've worked in the fashion industry in the past and I like kind of being an outsider to that. I think it's quite nice to have your own appreciation. So um, if anybody gets a chance to go to London Fashion Weekend or of course but even better London Fashion Week in the future then I would definitely say go because it is such an eye opener and it is such an amazing sort of dreamlike world to be going into so definitely check it out if you can anyway I'll put the links for London Fashion Weekend and Y Plan and um, I'll try and get a hold of the Coca-Cola picture with the hunk for, um, for you all to see but in the meantime I've got to get ready and go to a wedding so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of the weekend bye